Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Conquest, which is a free and open source clone of the Risk board game that I produced. You can download the code for Conquest at github.com slash argosopentech slash conquest. As you can see, Conquest has an interface very similar to the traditional Risk board game. Players occupy territory and can attack and conquer the territory of other players. Conquest is developed using the Godot game engine, which is a free and open source game engine that is licensed under the MIT open source license. I'll now give a quick demo of running Conquest from source. So as you can see here, I've already downloaded the long-term support version of Godot. And here you can see one of Godot's greatest features. The entire executable for the Godot game engine is 79 megabytes, so less than 100 megabytes for an entire game engine. This is in contrast to some of the other big popular game engines, which often come with gigabytes and gigabytes of bloat uh, to install a game engine. So the Godot game engine is not only open source, but very well optimized and probably has very clean code under the hood. So I downloaded this Godot long-term support zip file and then unzipped it here. And then on my Linux desktop, I can just click run. And so I now have the Godot project manager and I'm now going to import my project. So I've not downloaded the source for Conquest yet, but I'm just going to do a quick git clone by copying this URL here into my git clone command. Okay, and now I'm going to import my go.project. So I saved it to git slash conquest, and then I'm going to select this project.go. So all my assets are being loaded now, and now you can see the main screen for the Conquest game. I'm now going to click Run in the top right corner, and you can see the game is now running. Um, I can play online or play offline. Um, I'm going to do play online. Create lobby, test lobby, and create. And so this is how you would start a multiplayer game. So another very cool feature about the Godot engine and Conquest is that it's able to be compiled for WebAssembly. And we actually did quite a bit of work to get multiplayer to work on WebAssembly, um, which is a bit difficult because on web you kind of have to do weird things when you're making network connections. So some of the default multiplayer code doesn't work. Um, but it should just work out of the box if you do the standard compiling for web, WebAssembly from Godot. And I host a version of the web build of Conquest at conquestgame.online. So if you want to play this game with your friends, you don't even have to compile it yourself, run Godot, or anything like that. You can just give them this link, and then you can play online together. Okay. So I now have conquestgame.online open on two different web browsers, and I'm going to do a quick demonstration game. So first, I'm going to go into Options and set my name for uh, both players. So let's call this one Braveheart, and this one, let's call this one Fire. And I'll do play online, create lobby, um, video, demo, two players, and I'm not going to set a lobby password. So now I have this lobby, and I'm going to go to my other player, play online, and join lobby. And so I can see my lobby here, it has one of two players, no password, 
and I can just click join. And then the host uh, of the lobby just has to click start game and the game will start. So like with normal risk, the first stage of the game is claiming territory. So the two players take turns back and forth to select putting one troop each in each country they want to claim. Um, so I'm going to have Firefox start by claiming Brazil. And then Braveheart North Africa, Eastern United States. Western Europe, Okay, so that ends claiming all the territory, and now you reinforce your claim territory with your starter troops. So, uh, Braveheart's going to reinforce North Africa, uh, Brazil. Okay, so that ends the beginning phase, and now the game will automatically go to normal risk gameplay. Um, so it's Firefox's turn, and you can see, based on the territories Firefox holds, they get 10 troops. So I'm going to put them all here. Uh, I'll put nine here, and one here. And then end the reinforcement phase. And for the attack phase, I'm going to attack North Africa. And the dice rolls happening under the hood are the exact same as with uh, normal risk. Okay, so I've conquered Africa. Um, I'm going to end the attack phase and then just like risks, there's also a fortify phase, so you can move troops around between two territories that are contiguous. So I'm going to move one troop from South Africa to North Africa. And that ends my turn. And so now it's Braveheart's turn, and they have a similar reinforce phase and attack phase. and then fortify. Um, I'm not going to finish the game, but um, the game continues like this until one player has conquered the entire map. So for those of you who haven't played Risk before, uh, it's a pretty popular board game. It was developed by French film director Albert Lamarice in 1957, and because uh, game rules are not copyrightable in the United States. We were able to almost exactly copy the Risk board game. 
So this should be a drop in replacement for existing risk video games, um, although with different branding, obviously. So we can't call it risk, it's conquest, but other than that, it's almost identical. The one major change in the rules is that in risk, there are these territory cards you get when you conquer uh, new territory, and then you can exchange them for new troops. Um, and conquest does not support this. Um, the reason is, um, I've always thought this was kind of a bad rule and makes the game worse. So I didn't include it in my version. But of course, Conquest is free and open source software. So if you want to fork it and add the cards in, you're totally free to do that. I also think if you're interested in forking Conquest, it would be pretty easy to make a reskin. You would just have to switch out a lot of the assets and you probably wouldn't even have to touch the code much at all if you wanted the game to look and sound a bit different. But the game is totally playable as is, and I, I like the uh, current assets quite a bit. So this game was developed by Wamik Rahman, who is a Pakistani computer science student and an experienced Godot developer. And if you're interested in hiring him, you can find him on GitHub in the contributor section of Conquest or at wamikurrahman.wordpress.com. Thanks for watching.